Shmai. Today I'm in the west of Snowdonia National Park up in North Wales and I'm heading for a hike up the peaks of Knecht and the Molwins. Now this is a 14 kilometer loop which involves just under a thousand meters of elevation gain. It starts in the small village of Kreisor which is to the west of Blenheim Fastidiog. There is a large car park with room for about 30 cars and it is free to park. Now I'm going to tackle this loop in a clockwise direction so my first peak I'm going to head up is Knecht. So I'm going to head out the car park, turn right and work my way onto the ridge line. Now if you'd very good things about this hike, it is a beautiful clear day, however there is quite a lot of wind, so hopefully it's not too savage up on the peaks and I can get my drone up. So let's crack into it. Two miles into the hike, making my way up to connect from the west to the views. I mean, it's a clear day, but look at this. Flag towards Porth Maddock and the estuary, stunning. And if you spin around to the north, you've got Snowdon. I've chat here because the wind is actually really, really strong. Uh, if I go over this ridge, it's blowing an absolute gale, so be interesting to see if I can get the drone up or not, whether I go full kamikaze mode, but stunning. Got Molwyn Mauer and Molwyn Bach, so I'll eventually work my way onto there, but on with me, push. So I'm just off the summit of Connect, just behind me there. Views are mental. It's only 689 meters high, but the 360 panoramic views you get are insane. You've got more of the winds that way in southern Snowdonia. The Porth Madig and the estuary that way. And if you spin it around, look at this. Snowden, Glidderai, Karnedai, and up there's Mol Shabod, where I welcomed two nights ago. You can find that video here. But insane views. What a day for it. What a day. Now, Knecht is, after the, is named after the old English word for night. So it's quite ironic. You have a night on a night. Uh, but it's nicknamed the Welsh Matterhorn uh, just because of its prominent shape. Uh, it's been eroded at four sides by glaciers. Uh, the soft rock's been taken away and you've left with the hard igneous rock. But it's such a prominent mountain and the views are absolutely insane. It took me just over an hour to get up the top of it. Not that difficult at all, easy to follow. A little bit of scrambling at the end, but well, definitely recommend this. Right, I'm gonna push along, along the north top, swoop around, and try and get up to Molwyn Mauer. Let's crack on. So from Knech, rather than pushing across the north top and swinging around, I kind of just beelined it straight down past Slim Kun of Oil and two other tarns. Uh, it wasn't that technical, no real route, just kind of picked and weaved my way through. A bit boggy at times, but cut off a bit of uh, bit of the route and shortened it up. But I'm here in Rossied Quarry. Absolutely stunning. This hike, not only the view's incredible, but the variety of the landscape and the terrain is unbelievable. 
And this quarry is absolutely massive. I'm gonna have a little look around here, scout out some of the buildings before pushing on up to Moilwinbach via the old tramway. Let's go. Ridge connect Snowden Glitterai Carne Dai Mol Shabbat So up on the summit of Krygis Gafan, which is a rocky outcrop between Moylwin Maur and Moylwin Bach. It's about 690 metres high, it is a nettle, and it means mild crag in English. But yeah, the route, pretty simple route straight down from Moylwin Maur, and you climb back up. You also get great views over the Stulen Dam. But I'm about six, just over six miles in, uh, just over four hours. One final descent and then a climb up to Molwyn Bar. And then I'm going to make the, the long descent back to Kreisau. So far, so good. What a day. What a day. So I'm just off the summit of Molwyn Bach, which is up behind me. It sits at 710 meters and its translation into English is Little White Hill. Bach being little, Maur being big. Stunning views once again, back towards Porth Madog, Nantel Fridge. And if you go over this hill, looking towards Blané for Stidiog. Sitting beneath Molwyn Bach is the Stulen Dam and Stulen Reservoir. Now this feeds the Blenheim Festinog power station. It was built in the 1950s and it's extremely popular with cyclists. It's a closed off road, 2.7 kilometers in length with eight hairpin bends, which averages above 10%. I think people come from all over Britain to cycle it and it's continuously voted one of the best climbs in the UK. I think there's been a fair few Everesting attempts on it as well. I'm going to stick the drone up, get some shots of the summit before making the short two mile slog back to Kreisau. So I'm back at the van after completing the hike, just under 10 miles and just over five hours. Sensational hike, absolutely unbelievable views. It's gone straight into my top three hikes in Snowdonia, potentially even competing for that number one spot. It was a proper mountain day. The variety of the terrain from sort of a couple of scrambles, uh, beautiful 360 degree views from the peaks, a couple of old slate mines and the Stulen Dam. Absolutely incredible, proper mountain day. And you also had that remoteness um, that you don't get in Snowdonia. Uh, I barely saw any people and only share the summit with one other person. Just all in all, a sensational day and I thoroughly recommend this hike. I did it in a clockwise fashion however because it is a loop you can do it anti-clockwise 
What I would say is the last mile of my journey was on road, although I was walking towards a beautiful view of Snowdon and Connex. So if you want to get that out of the way first, I would recommend doing this loop anti-clockwise. I'd also say this is a great hike to do for sunset, uh, either finishing up on Connex or Mullwyn Bar because you'll have incredible views. And there are a ton of wild camp spots along routes, especially on the summits of Connex and Mullwyn Bar. So if you're into wild camping, I definitely recommend coming here. Anyway, that's all from me. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe and all that. And until next time, Dios Convar.